Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Magnus, and I welcome you guys to part two of Let's Play Civilization V, A Brave New World, playing as Gustavus Adolfus of the Swedish Empire. Let us continue our journey. So, in the last part, which was also the first part, make sure you go and watch that if you haven't yet, uh, we managed to get Stonehenge, as well as our first Pantheon. So, we're playing as Sweden, we're going for a diplomatic victory, all these things are very important. Of course, Pantheon does not automatically translate into religion. So, uh, and we found out this strange neighbor of ours is actually Portugal, or Maria, uh, which is the queen bitch. She really hates everyone and likes to tell you how much she dislikes you, as much as possible, really. She doesn't denounce though, that's not her style, she just likes to tell you that she doesn't like you. Um, but yeah, Stockholm. After letting it grow to pop 5, I am going to be uh, building my first settler. And I'm going to be starting my work on a library. So, I think it's important that we reveal iron on the map. That is always an important thing to do. And we're going to pick our first pantheon here. So we're going to be, uh, we're going to pick this one carefully. Uh, there are a lot of camps here. Uh, that's the first thing I'm noticing right here. Um, I sadly... Uh, Gandhi grabbed food from camps because, as usual, he starts with a shit of elephants. It's kind of like an India thing, you know? Um, so, but we have first, we have truffles and we have roots. So I'm gonna be looking for uh, pantheons which help those. Um, sun god? No. Um, religious idols could work. Uh, getting culture and faith from gold tiles would be pretty sweet. Um, what else could we grab? We could grab... Uh, we don't have wine or incense. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe pastures? No, we don't have a lot of cattle. God of the open sky won't really be any good. Uh, Dance of the Aurora. Plus one faith from Tundra Tiles. That's not really gonna work. Ah! Damn Gandhi for grabbing the food from camps. That would have actually been really good. I think religious idols probably would be a good thing. Um, we will get more gold. Oh, actually, oh, Oh, Portugal will not be happy about setting this city. But she's gonna grab the gold, though, sadly. So I'm not gonna get that. Goddess of Love is always a good one, but we're not gonna struggle that much with happiness now, I think. And not, not in this Let's Play. So, this is a tricky one. Religious Idols will give me two extra faith in culture, which is not great. Not unless I plan to, uh, grab any more. I think... I think perhaps just... Sacred waters? No. Happiness is not going to be an issue. Plantations? We're not going to have a lot of those. Quarries? We're not going to have a lot of those either. Um, science, like Messenger of the Gods is really good, actually. Extra science is very always pretty darn nice. I think I am just going to be grabbing good old fertility rights. Extra growth. You can't complain about extra growth. It is pretty darn good. And he is on good terms with Polynesia, so uh, that is good. Getting a lot of faith already, so I'm pretty sure the religion is in the bank. I'm gonna go out on a whim and say that we're most likely gonna be getting ourselves a religion here. Alright, we're gonna grab a settler. Um, are we locking all the tiles which give production at this stage? I think we're working all of the high production tiles. So we're going to get our Settler in 10 turns, which is good. We're going to grab that city before anyone else does. Uh, it's really important that we do grab it, because it's most likely going to get grabbed really quickly. Then I'm going to think about other places to expand. I could expand to the right, but there's not a lot of resources here. Haha! -ha, I am the world's most wonderful person! Take that, unmet player! I am so much better than the unmet player. And my player needs to LTP, man. I do believe I have trapping now, don't I? I do. So I can go improve the luxuries. Because my happiness is actually starting to sink now. Would really be awesome if I could get this camp before the settler settles my city. Um, I think I really should grab... Like, I could settle... I could settle this city over here. I would piss Gandhi off, but fuck him. He's, he forward settled me. I'm going to forward settle him. That's how wars are made, by the way. But I don't care. Oh no! What was not, not this guy, please! Shaka, get out of my game! I'm trying to be. Pe God damn it! 
Oh, like, this is probably the worst guy I could have had in this Let's Play. If you don't know anything about Shaka, you know, the f just look at the guy. Do I really need to tell you that this is not a peaceful looking guy? Shaka has the highest warmonger rating uh, of, out of all the leaders. He attacks absolutely everyone. When he gets this unique unit, the MP, he pretty much goes to war with every single leader in the game. That is just how aggressive he is. Shaka does not care. He does not care. Um... Uh, he, 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 he just conquers everything. I'm still gonna grab an embassy with him. The thing about Shaka is that he is very loyal. He is not a backstabber. So if you can actually get Shaka on your side, which is almost impossible, but if you can somehow manage to do it, you have yourself a very strong partner. Oh, Pedro Bear. Hello, nice to see you again. Fucking troll. Notice how I'm getting embassies with everyone now. The moment I meet them, uh, because I'm gonna start. I want to start working on the diplomatic relationships immediately. But yeah, Shaka is gonna be a big problem. Um, luckily, he is pretty far away. Wow, he is most likely going to attack Gandhi. That's going to happen. Calling it right now. He's gonna attack and probably kill Gandhi. If I, like Gandhi's resilient fucker, he really is. But oh, he has to. <laughs> He's a threat to the stability of this world. I saw him write a new book the other day. And the book said nasty things about me. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Shaka. What the fuck? Pedro, okay. Well, he's most likely going to kill Pedro. Yeah, actually, no, I, I take back my, my previous statement. He's going to leave Gandhi alone. He's going to go and conquer Rio de Janeiro. He's going to kill Pedro. And then he's just going to go on a massive conquer spree from that point on and kill anyone his way. So I, I certainly hope that Gandhi can fight him off. Because if Gandhi can't, then we're going to have a big problem with Shaka. Because he's going to start killing city-states as well. Shaka does not care. City-states, cities, they're all the same to him. He kills everything he can get his hands on. So That is a big problem. Alright, we're going to get bronze working right now. Um, uh, we probably should go for the wheel next. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Going to need to get some archers out. Um... Get some composite bowmen later on as well. If we're gonna for forward settle Gandhi's, we better have the composite bowmen to back it up with. Uh, also, getting an early trade route probably would be a really good idea, but we also need libraries. Uh, if you neglect science too much, uh, playing as Sweden, you're gonna kind of get the Forbidden Palace in time and you're gonna struggle majorly. So, still five religions to be founded. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get one. I'm not gonna say 100% for sure, but. I haven't met, like, a lot of religious people yet. Um, I suppose out of the leaders that we have in the game right now... Um, actually, none of these guys are really big on religion. Ah, uh, uh, Ahmad is, is a little bit religious, but the other guys... Shaka does not give a fuck about religion. He's like, what, can you, can you kill it? Okay, then I like it. 18 gold to get a huge boost with Gandhi. Is it worth it? Yes, it is actually worth it. 18 gold is not a lot, and that's a huge queen modifier. Um, that is pretty much going to solidify me as his friend for a very long time. He may even forgive my forward settling. So, yeah, I'm probably going to go for a settler immediately after this one. To try and grab the city before Gandhi does. Or else I'm going to have a very big expansion problem. So, let us go. Oh, ah, Shaka has a lot of good expand locations. This is really worrisome. As there's wine and wheat here. He's as a, the thing about Shaka is that in addition to taking a lot of cities, he also expands a lot. He's very expansive, um, which means that he usually ends up with an absolute shit ton of cities. And because of his massive bonuses on Immortal, he can usually keep up with this happiness. Oh, nice! Just got free scouting right there without even going for it. That's pretty cool. All right, keep. I'm gonna keep the warrior around Stockholm for now. Uh, we have truffles. I'm gonna go connect another um, copy of truffles. So I can start selling them to other leaders. Um, this warrior will most likely accompany the settler down here so I can expand. I need to think about what the best possible expansion would be here. Um, I think I'm just going to try and ninja this wheat tile. Um, I'm probably going to expand on top of the hill. Oh my god, a settler. Huh. wonder whose settler that is. Probably a Pedro settler. Come to think of it. Yeah, that is most likely Pedro settler. Okay, we're gonna need to go around these barbarians because they're gonna they're gonna keep shooting on our scouts. That's not gonna be good. I think I'll just expand uh, right right next to this wheat tile. Probably a good idea. Or I could expand on the hill and I will get I will get the bison. I think 
perhaps the hill would be a better choice. Yeah, definitely the hill. The hill will also make the city... Oh my god, I could probably take these settlers. Alright, legalism is going to give me a free amphitheater. Not a huge deal at this stage, but... Wait, what? Oh, really? You don't get a free amphitheater in your capital anymore when you go for legalism? That's a big nerf. I suppose it's going to give me monuments then. Alright. I'm going to go for a, another settler immediately. It's not something I do a lot. But I think it's worth it in this case. Because we need to grab the city before India does. Um, you're going to have major expansion problems. If we don't grab the good locations before they get swallowed up by the other leaders. I could potentially also expand here. By the bananas. Oh wow, that would actually not be so bad. Alright, who do they belong for? Brazil? Sure. This is what you really want to do as Sweden. You really want to get as many green modifiers as possible. So, normally I would never give them back a settler. But it's Pedro. I think he's going to get killed by Shaka anyway. So, might as well just grab the green modifiers while I can. And I might make it a little bit hard. Like, I'm essentially giving Shaka one more city to, co uh, to conquer. So, I'm also <laughs> kind of hindering Shaka a little bit in that regard, I suppose. Uh, now that I've watched Avatar The Last Airbender, when I think about Shaka and I think Sokka, uh, Sokka would not be as threatening. <laughs> okay. Um, barbarians, nope. Not gonna... Don't want any part in that. Alright, so we're gonna get ourselves the city, which is good. Uh, Maria will probably bitch and complain about Vana, like she bitches and complains about everything else. Um, but I think what I should go for now most likely would be philosophy, because I really need my libraries and my national college. Uh, Oracle is also a very good wonder to get a Sweden. You do want the extra free social policy means you can get patronage a lot quicker, and the quicker you can get patronage, the better it is for you. So I do think I want that. Um, I'm going to buy this wheat tile immediately, just to make sure that, so sh that um, uh, Maria does not get it. And we're going to be founding the city of Sigtuna. And then we're going to spend some gold and we're going to buy these tiles immediately. I'm also tempted to buy the horses, but I can't afford that right now. So I am just going to be starting on a library immediately, I think. Yep, yeah, definitely going to go do that. And I'm going to kill these archers as well. Now, with this other pair of truffles that I'm going to get... Uh, I think that it would probably be a good idea to trade them for a luxury. That way I won't get any happiness penalty when I found my my third city. Prague wants Almaty bullied. How do you want that? I don't get it. Um, there we go. Let's see if we can start attacking these archers now. Sadly, they're on rough terrain and we have drill. Or shock, I mean. We, we should have had drill, but we have shock. I don't know why. There's a lot more rough terrain here than open terrain. Why did I pick drill? He wants to buy my truffles, but I'm more interested in getting wine. What? Shaka, how is that not cl Fuck you, man. Not interested in trading with you. Pedro is a lot more reasonable. He's willing to trade one for one. I have a declaration of friendship with him. Oh, it's William! William's quite a bro, but he's also very terrifying if you're a naval sim. Because his sea beggars are absolute monsters. Uh, William is uh, very... he's diplomatic. He's not very aggressive, unless you're talking um, a naval combat. Uh, he can really backstab you with sea beggars. Uh, there is unique units. They're ridiculously strong. They specialize in taking cities, which makes them very terrifying. But uh, aside from that, William's a cool guy to have in this game. He's kind of big on culture. He likes to spam a lot of works of arts, a lot of wonders. So he could become a problem in that regard. Alright, so we have uh, connected the truffles. I think I'm going to go down and grab the marble, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go down and grab the marble immediately. Now, I'm not keen on sending my settlers uh, unguarded. If you watched my Shoshone Let's Play, you'll realize that that's almost never a good thing to do. I've also not quite 100% decided upon what tile I want to settle, but I do want these uh, these elephants. I do want to also set, settle next to a river, as it's going to make it easier for me to defend if Gandhi does decide to attack. 
So we'll have to see a little bit what I decide to do. Um, settling by the river is very risky, though. <coughs> My apologies. Uh, yeah, settling next to the river is going to be very dangerous. But also one, two, three. Yeah, it's like in the it's up the absolute m um, minimum range I can be from Mumbai. But if my relationship with Gandhi is uh, are good, which they should be, then I don't see why we shouldn't be able to make it work. All right, and here's Rotterdam. So I could potentially convince William and Maria to go to war with each other. It looks like William is kind of also like in a corner, unlike uh, like me. I mean. Vancouver and Brazil are now friends. Yeah, I want to connect this marble immediately. Happiness is going to be an issue if I keep settling cities at this speed. Uh, once I'm done with this, however, I'm going to calm down a little bit and wait. Um, you could try to help Pedro out a little bit more, you know? Getting some diplomatic bonuses with Pedro is always a nice thing. Do I dare to, to try and improve this? The archers might decide to attack me. I'm not sure if they will. We'll have to see. Barbarians don't usually move away from an encampment to take a worker, but they can. We'll have to see what they end up doing. They could just stand still. No, they actually went for my worker. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. 10 damage. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait. However, now that they took so much damage, I could easily go and take them back. A religion has been founded, and it's Hinduism, so that means we're going to struggle a little bit with religion, because uh, Gandhi is going to try to spread his religion over to our cities. Yeah, Gandhi likes his Hinduism, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, that is a little bit annoying to lose my uh, my workers like that, but it happens. Alright, I could take that worker back and get another boost with Pedro, actually. Alright, gonna grab our library in Stockholm, and we're gonna settle on this hill tile right here. Hill tiles are pretty good, because they do give you some bonuses in regards to your archers being able to shoot everywhere, since they're on the hill. Ah, fuck me. Hand axes? I hate hand axes. They're so fucking strong. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna prioritize getting libraries in all my cities before I do anything else. Wait, and you know what? You know what? Pedro, Brazil, here you go. I'm not sure if it stacks. I think it does, uh, but I'm a little bit unsure actually. Uh, cities on hills also have also do a lot more damage, so being on a hill is is very good for defensive purposes. Maria is not the most aggressive, though, so I don't think she's necessarily going to attack me, but she can. Like, every single leader in this game can declare war if, if, if you push them hard enough. But she's not very aggressive. So it's very rare to see it happen. Oh, crap. I should have shot. Fuck. No, no. Cancel, cancel. Ah. Oh. Yes. A third declaration of friendship. A fourth declaration of friendship. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, I'm gonna wait, actually, and I'm gonna trade those truffles. I have one happiness right now, so I'm gonna get myself some cocoa. I wanted to trade with Marco because I do not yet have a declaration of friendship with them, so by trading, I might get that. Trading with someone is a big green modifier, so it's always a good thing to get. Alright, uh, what should we do with this guy? Can we? Yeah, we can continue through here. Great. I thought we were blocked off, but apparently not. Right, we're gonna get in our next policy in 11 turns. That's a little bit slow, I gotta say. Took me longer to get my tradition opener than I thought. Uh, I think my culture output is a little bit low at this stage. Now, let's see if Gandhi gets pissed at me for settling the city. He might. Um, he might very well get pissed at me. And everyone loves me. This is great. This is a very good opener, as uh, Sweden. Uh, having so many declarations of friendship this early on in the game. If I can only re uh, maintain these relations... Alright, let's see if Gandhi gets pissed off. He probably will tell me that it's not okay. What? Come on. <laughs> My scouts are boxed in. <laughs> no! Alright, thanks for the workers, mates, and the barbarian encampment. Too bad I didn't have a quest for that. Uh, I'm gonna grab that library. Can't really postpone that any longer. 
However, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good time to end the episode. Please consider leaving a like and a comment if you did enjoy it. And uh, as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.